Welcome to The Buzz, where we bring you leaders in dental education, discussing hot topic courses and industry trends. I'm your host, Vanessa Emerson, founder of Dental Speakers Bureau, and today I'm thrilled to be interviewing Dr. Kimberly Harms. Now, Kimberly draws from 30 years of clinical practice experience numerous leadership roles, and 21 years, as a, 21 years as a national spokesperson for the American Dental Association. She also shares in her courses from her personal experience with catastrophic loss and serious illness in her own family. She's also a neutral mediator in the state of Minnesota. Um, Kim offers a couple of courses um, that touch on each of these areas that I think are very exciting and definitely needed in dentistry today. And so I've asked her here to share this a little bit. This is kind of an overview. Can you tell us more about your courses? If I was going to want to bring you in for, for my meeting, uh, what are the topics? And give us also a little detail on what's covered in those courses. Sure. Thanks, Vanessa. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a a grandma dentist with a past. I've been through a lot in my life and in dentistry, and I'm really willing to share that with others so that I can help them through some of the things that I've been through. Emotional pain, physical pain. I'm a, uh, a graduate of Mayo Clinic's uh, pain rehab clinic, so I've got a lot of good information from that. Uh, and I just really wanna help others who are going through the same thing. Dentistry is unique and that we have to be on all the time. We have to have a smile on our face every day. Very, very difficult if you're struggling with emotional pain or physical pain, or you're going through a transition or you have conflict in your office. So I'm, I, I wanna take all the experiences that I've had over all these years and help others who are going through that. And first of all, to give them hope and to know they're not alone. Mm. Absolutely. So. The topic areas that you speak in then, if uh, let's call it out by topic. We have conflict resolution. What else do we have? We have uh, one of my uh, courses is called When the Pain is in the Brain, How to Help Those Who Are Struggling with Emotional Grief or Mental Illness. That's a really important one. It's very popular. Uh, I have one called uh, Active versus Chronic Pain. The Pain War is Active versus Chronic. Uh, we, we treat active pain or, or, or acute pain, excuse me, acute pain in dentistry. And many of our patients come in with chronic pain, which, which of course is attached to the opioid epidemic that we have to manage with our patients. So I wanna give a little more understanding about what people who have chronic pain go through. And the most fun is the floss or not the floss. That is a question which uses all those 21 years as a national spokesperson and consumer advisor for the Dental Association uh, and calls out some of the interesting things that our patients are hearing and believing on the internet. Uh, like you can grow teeth back or uh, charcoal whitens your teeth and doesn't abrade it. Uh, and, and, and really lifting those up and allowing our participants to train their, train their patients to give them a really good, solid educational program and most importantly, become their most trusted source of dental health information. Mm, I love that. Now I know that uh, your courses are, are typically all built for a team environment, right? We're, we're not, um, pardon me, pointing out like specific team members, but really for each of these courses, any team member would be welcome and even better for the entire team to come, I'm assuming. Yes, especially when we're dealing with, uh, when the pain is in the brain, for instance, uh, patients that come in, we, they come in and they allow us to do all those, they, they allow us to drill on their teeth and, and look at them with big lights and put probes in their mouth. They allow us to do that to them. And there, there's a lot of anxiety about that, which would be understandable. But what they don't count on, what they don't expect is there'd be turmoil in the team or problems in the team. And we want the whole team to come to really learn how to focus on that patient make sure they get a wonderful experience and work through their trauma, work through their conflict. Uh, if there is, are emotional issues, know how to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So we want the whole team. And I think most of these lectures are great for the entire team. 
Awesome. Okay, so to recap, we have then um, transition, loss, uh, crisis, um, conflict, but we also have in there like some evidence-based dentistry stuff with the, with the what's going on and con uh, contemporary uh, questioning around to floss or not to floss, that sort of thing. But I also hear then we're really talking in areas of communication and emotional intelligence and even self-directed leadership and, and all of that. It sounds like it could be... Um, the, each of these programs could fit um, multiple um, criteria when a meeting planner, when they contacted me at the Bureau, they typically are saying, I'd like something on conflict resolution or, you know, something by that more generic term. And it feels like you have multiple courses here that could fit uh, in many of those slots. Yes. And I'm very enthusiastic about all of them. They all have their place. I, I, some of the titles might feel like they're a, a kind of a downer. They're not. Uh, even with when the pain is in the brain, the real message is there can be joy that can be resilience. How do you get over the pain? How do you move on, move ahead uh, despite the pain? Uh, so all of the, uh, the, the the courses that I give are really built on uh, learning, working with each other, not judging anyone else, looking at yourself, because I think that's something that's tempting sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, but also ultimately designed to help anyone who is going through a difficult transition emotional pain, physical pain, grief, or conflict issues. Got it. Got it. Sounds great. Well, Kim, is there anything else we haven't touched on that would be important for the event planner to know? And, and also, might I just mention here for the, the event planner listening in that Kim has gone into more detail on each of these courses. We do have videos available on her bureau listing where you can learn more about those specifically. So with that in mind, is there anything in particular that you'd like to leave the meeting planner with before we go? I think I just like the meeting planner to realize that I can, I'm very enthusiastic about every one of these topics. I can give multiple topics in one, uh, one uh, event. Uh, and uh, I would just love for them to love for them to book me. I can awesome. help. I've been there. I can help basically. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, definitely years of um, experience, especially as a dentist. I think that's really valuable. So, well, there you have it. Thank you, Kim, for um, being with us today and sharing with us information about your, your presentations. And uh, thank you to the event planner for listening in. And um, if you have uh, any questions or you would like to reach out to Kim, visit dentalspeakersbureau.com. Dr. Kimberly Harms, H-A-R-M-S. You can find her alphabetical by her last name at that site, or you could do the search function with her last name. Either way, it'll take you right to her listing. If you'd like to email me, info at dentalspeakersbureau.com, I'd be happy to help connect you. So thanks again, um, and until next time, be well.